Many people ask me if it's worth investing in vinyl records, and I mention the following facts. In 2020, the ASCII vinyl record of Burzum sold for $4,300. Metallica's Death Magnetic Limited box set sold for $1,850. Iron Maiden Soundhouse Tapes EP has been sold for $2,650. Mayhem's The Mysterious Dom Satanas sold for $1,000. For all these vinyl records, I have made detailed videos. Watch them after this video. They have a lot of interest. You can find the links in the description box below. All these records, when they were released, cost a few dollars. And like these records, there are hundreds of others whose value grows as we speak. Thousands of records that will be released in the future will get great value. Hundreds of thousands of records may not be selling for big money, but their price will double or triple within 10 years. So my answer is this, a vinyl record is an object worth collecting but you must know a few key things before start investing. So I decided to make a video and tell you what you need to know. In this video I will tell you the negatives and the positives of investing in vinyl records, where and how to find records, which records and genres on vinyl are in high demand, in which places you will get information. I will tell you how you will get organized and what's the first thing you have to do. It's going to be an exciting video. This video is also an answer to all those who say that uh, the vinyl record is a bubble that one day will burst. But first, we have to answer the question, what is investing? According to Investopedia, investing is the act of allocating resources, usually money, with expectation of generating an income or profit. You can invest in endeavors such as using money to start a business or in assets in hopes of uh, reselling it later at a higher price. To be a vinyl record investor, you don't have to wear a suit. You can have long hair, wear a band t-shirts and look to invest in metal records. But don't just think about uh, the money value of records and forget the music and the vinyl record experience. It is a trap that uh, you can easily fall into, but I will tell you in a while how to avoid it. Some music lovers disagree with the collector's investor's mentality and practice and they cannot understand the logic of buying records for profit. But here I have to say that the role of collectors is excellent. They keep some vinyl records intact over time. Without them, there'd be nothing left. No original copy in mint condition 50 or 60 years after its release. What are the positives and what are the negatives of investing in vinyl records? Let's start with positives. Records, and especially these in sealed and mint condition, do not lose their value. It's easy to figure out which records will increase their value and build a profitable collection. Their financial performance is excellent. With a little attention from you, any new vinyl record you invest in can at least double its value within 5 years. You can find expensive used vinyl records very cheaply. Of course, I will tell you how. If you like music and vinyl records, it's going to be a very, very pleasant trip. Now the negatives. The best deals should be offline, but don't worry, I'll tell you how. Vinyl records need the storage space. The bigger the collection, the biggest the storage space. Attention needs to be paid to storage. For example, don't store records near the floor. Floods also happen on the third floor. Also protect them from moisture. This is crucial. If the space is humid, get a dehumidifier. Let's go now and see what's the first thing you have to do. Make a plan of how much money you want to earn and how long. This will help you to get a picture of where you are and where you want to go. How quickly you get to where you want to is up to you. It's up to what records you're going to invest in. Of course, how much you're going to buy them plays an important role. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Have recorded in an Excel file all the vinyl records you buy in one column, what price you purchase them in another and how much they cost in the third column. Check the prices once a year to see how much is their value. The demand for some records is going up very quickly, so you have to be informed. Not all vinyl records have the same demand. I'll tell you which records are in need so you can buy the most lucrative ones. Invest mainly in sealed records or those that are in mint condition. These are the most in demand of all, but uh, there may be exceptions to this rule. If, for example, a record was printed in 50 copies in 1980, it may be impossible to find the copy in mint condition. So you can buy a copy in very good plus condition and the price will be just as great. You don't have to be in a hurry. Get informed, 
get ready and wait for the right time. Collecting records is a marathon and uh, the ideal will be to enjoy the process. It's necessary to love music and vinyl. This will help you do the extra mile with pleasure. It's essential to keep in touch with music in general and uh, not just be a collector. How to find used vinyl records is the next question I'm going to answer. Find collectors from your area and community and organize your network. That's why you have to socialize, visit record stores, record fairs and where there are people who deal with vinyl. Hang out with collectors and people who listen to the same music as you. At some point, you will meet someone selling something you're interested in. Keep track of ad sites in your city where some people sell things. You will find there some people who sell records. Also make it known that you are buying vinyl records. Print and uh, distribute flyers or put stickers where allowed and where there's traffic. Put ads in the local press or in the internet. Become inventive and think outside the box. For example, ask people to keep an eye out for vinyl records and offer them a fee if they find vinyl records for you. You should also be active outside your city. You will have to make some trips. When you build the, your network, this will be very easy. The best source of used records with value are individuals who no longer want and they sell their collections or some part of it. Forgotten treasures are hidden in basements. Here there is the best chance of buying diamonds for very little money. Some old collectors no longer deal with vinyl records. If it's a bulk sale among the collectible records, you will also get records that aren't very valuable. But if the overall value of the collection is excellent, buy it. But always ask the seller if he sells individual pieces. If he doesn't sell individual pieces and uh, you have to buy the entire collection, you will have many records that uh, won't have much value. So here you have to do this. Keep those who have collectible and investment value. Also keep as many records as uh, you like uh, musically and uh, that you will listen for your own pleasure. Just because you are a vinyl record investor doesn't mean you won't enjoy music from vinyl records. The rest of the records you don't want, make them a lot and sell them online. One tip here is to sell them in uh, general lots, uh, pop, rock, etc. This way they will be sold more quickly and at uh, more profit. Except for uh, formal collectors, look for cheap used van records or charity shops, thrift stores, junk shops and uh, car boot sales. There is an excellent chance to find a treasure for a couple of bucks or pounds. If you are looking for van records regularly in the above stores, as a serious collector, give a card to the store owner, but first, you must have made some purchases from the store and shown that uh, you are a valuable customer. A little thing here is that if the shopkeeper alerts you, but finally you don't get anything, give him a small amount of money for his trouble. When he has new records, you must be the first in his mind. Spend a little money and they will come back to you in multiple. Buy new releases from well-known bands. That's a safe investment option. The big bands have a large audience and usually their releases are uh, limited. One huge thing here is this, if the album is good, it's going to be in demand in the future. Also chase uh, limited editions of a new album in vinyl. Usually these versions, for example 100 copies of a red vinyl from a big metal band that has also released a regular black vinyl version will increase its price much faster. It is a good thing to keep uh, such versions sealed and buy more than one copy. Also, if you are buying new records, you will have to keep track of what's about to be released. If, for example, you will collect the vinyl records from metal bands, you have to keep track of all the metal record companies, their upcoming releases, and also keep an eye on all the band's websites. In this case, maybe you should also do pre-orders where possible. New releases raise their prices a little more slowly, but it's a sure investment. Again, the tip here is to track very popular bands and keep the records sealed. I strongly recommend to buy these releases from your local record stores. You will save some money from shipping costs and you will also support your local economy and the independent record stores, which is very important. But also in new vinyl record releases from up and coming bands in the future, they may gain a great deal of value. But here you need to be informed and very careful. In the future I will make a video about this topic, so subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to notify when the video is up. Also look to buy well-known collectible and expensive value records at the lowest possible price. If you see the charts I've made for some records in this channel and the courses of their prices over the last 15 years, you will understand why. These records will increase their value in the future. For example, if you find someone selling a bosom copy 
At a reasonable price, buy it. In the future, it will get even more value. Usually, some collectors sell some expensive pieces of their collections for quick cash. Grab the opportunity and try to negotiate a lower price. It's a legitimate, but don't overdo it. If the price is reasonable, a 10% below the asking price is okay. Usually you will find these bargains offline, so be alert. The genres and the records most in demand are 60s, psychedelic rock, progressive rock, funk, early punk and hardcore, metal, early country, pre-80s jazz, classic hip-hop, electronic music, ethnic music and experimental music. Beatles records are also in high demand and some rare vinyl soundtracks, 7-inch singles, colored vinyl records, picture discs, Japanese records and import records. Japanese records have an excellent reputation for sound quality, which is why they are in high demand. Also in demand are versions of records that have outstanding sound quality. Also, as I said before, limited releases of new albums from influential metal bands, for example, are in high demand. Signed albums by great or dead artists are of great value. If you are wondering, reissues don't cost much, but if this is the first reissue of a scarce record, its price may be high due to high demand. Also, if some reissues have a perfect sound, they are more in demand and therefore price. In the value of vinyl records, 9 key factors video I've made for you, you can watch in detail the factors that define the record's value. I'll put the link in the description box below. It would be nice if you like a certain kind of music and I suggest to focus on it for starters. Then expand uh, your interest in uh, other subgenres. It will be easier for you since the amount of information you have to manage is enormous. What interests you as a collector and investor is to know how much a record costs and its price path in recent years if it's an old release. In this case, your primary sources should be number one, poppsych.com. Poppsych publishes eBay auctions results from 2004 to the present day. There you can see the price of a record how much it costs today and some details that uh, will help you to understand the real value of a record. For example, if a record is auctioned for $1 and after 50 bids sold for $1,500, this reflects the record's actual price. But if a seller put the same record up for sale for $1,850 and someone bought it with one bid, that might mean uh, that uh, the buyer had to give $350 more because uh, he desperately wanted. One crucial thing is that the Poppsych keeps a record of auction results from vinyl albums that haven't been sold anywhere else. Number two is Discogs. The Discogs for each album version presents a low, a medium and a high sold price without further details. If for example the record was sealed or in what condition. But together with Poppsych, it is an excellent and complementary source of information. Number three is Vinylom's Metal Blog. In the Metal Blog of Vinylom, I present versions of rare metal records, information, prices, prices of reissues, and everything you need to know. In a post, someone can read the most critical information to understand a record's value and be informed about the prices. You will find the link in the description box below. Number four is this channel. If you don't like to read blog posts but watch videos, this is the channel that you have to watch and subscribe to. You will find everything you need to know about the history, the prices of rare metal records and more on this channel. In the future, I will also talk about many crucial and collectible non-metal records. The content of this channel will help you to achieve your investment goals and make money. How much money you earn depends on you and only. I'm just here to help you achieve this goal. If you want to liquidate your collection or sell some pieces, the most profitable way is to sell them piece by piece and online. The most important places are Amazon, eBay, Discogs and some Facebook groups. Vandalo Marketplace, a marketplace I have created for all vinyl metal collectors, is waiting for you to sell and buy your records and I will be delighted if Vandalo in the future is useful to you. Collecting vinyl for investment purposes is an exciting subject, so I intend to make uh, more detailed videos in the future to understand more. I think this video helped you understand what you need to know about investing in vinyl in the first place. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. I'm going to answer them all and maybe for some questions I'm going to make a detailed video. Thank you for watching uh, this video to the end. Enjoy music, enjoy life, enjoy vinyl. See you all in the next video. Bye.